based on the electricity that's traveling through this arena and decibel level of the crowd, I think it's safe to say the roof of this building just might blow off. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. If this continues, we could be talking about something no one wants to discuss. Facial reconstructive surgery. I know you don't like to talk about your facial reconstructive surgery. Well, on the topic of Randy Orton here, tell us your thoughts. You know, there's probably no right way to take on the beast that is Brock Lesnar, because he is an exceptionally difficult opponent. But there is a wrong way, and that's fighting him on the ground. You do not want to play that up-close game with this man. That's someone who gets it. Someone who knows the value of hard work and dedication. Ow! Ooh. The Viper slithers out of the way. Oh, slithers. I see what you did there, Cole. Very clever. Really pushing his opponent to the limit here. Back between the ropes. You know, when it comes to trying to beat Brock Lesnar, I almost hate to say it, but I tell anyone getting in there against Brock to not hesitate to use some underhanded tactics if they need to. Don't be afraid to use a dirty... Oh, man, does he have that arm submission in tight? Look at Brock Lesnar pouring on the aggression. What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. He's in big trouble. Wow, what a slam to the ground. This guy's just too strong. Inside the ring now. Finally, let's get this done inside the ring. Wow, he's still down after that. And now he goes for it a second time. Well, we're on the move here. You know what's always impressed me so much about Randy Orton, whether it's when I was in the ring with him or watching him from right here at the announce table, was his quick strike capability. The Viper nickname is perfect for Randy because he strikes so fast. Four. A lot of times, you never even see it coming. Five. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. I can't blame him. Keep it in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching SmackDown, the second longest running weekly episodic television Three. program in history. Four. Oh, wow. Well, the trick sometimes when you get outside the ring is survival. The match becomes almost secondary when you get near all these dangerous objects. Six. That super quick striking ability of the Apex Predator is lethal, King, but we can't take Seven. anything away from Orton's size and strength either. Randy's got plenty of power to go along with that speed. And that's why the Viper is such an expert at reversing moves on an opponent. It's that deadly combination of quickness and strength. Nobody is better at catching you off guard and landing a huge attack than Randy Orton. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's moves like that that made Lesnar the one in 21 and one. Getting back into the ring now. King, you can take a breath. <gasps> well, he's the guy that's opponent, and what's he going for here? He's delivering an old fashioned butt kicking right here. I don't want to know what that feels like. Yeah, well, I've felt it before, and you're right, you don't want to know. You know, if there was ever a man built to be a WWE superstar, it has to be Brock Lesnar. He's got the body, the attitude, the intensity. He was a champion in college and added a WWE title to his resume within months after joining the company. I agree. The Beast was born for this, Cole. I won't argue with that. He is a ruthless competitor with the skills to match. But sometimes, I might take issue with Brock's tactics. Like the time at the Royal oh, it'll take a minor miracle to come back from this. Good grief! Is he still conscious? He is just getting busted up. One, two. Folks, we're in Rosemont tonight, a city that has hosted several WrestleManias, including the second leg of WrestleMania 2.
Well, King, you said you're not going to question Brock Lesnar's ability, and you shouldn't. But you shouldn't question his tactics either. No matter what it might look like, and no matter what you or anyone else might think, Brock is only doing what's best for himself when it comes to winning matches and getting himself title shots. What's he gonna do here? What's he gonna do here? Six. Seven. Back into the ring now. Yeah, this is good. This is where the action needs to be. Eight. Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Well, if those tactics of Brock Lesnar include pummeling unconscious competitors Two. for no apparent reason, then I'll never agree with him. I mean, the man might be a champion, but sometimes he can cross way over the line. Four. Just toying with the competition a little. Orton needs to regroup, and fast. He could be in dire straits in a hurry. When this guy's on, Six. look out. I don't know how much more damage he can take. Seven. crowd on hand here for SmackDown, as has been the norm over the years. Can't just look at this man. He's all business. And that's the way he has to be if he wants to win here tonight. Randy Orton showing some adversity right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Randy Orton's list of rivals throughout his WWE tenure is certainly triple German suplex. Lesnar's work here is about done. You're right. Brock Lesnar is a beast. Good grief. How is he still conscious? Shoulders down. Two, three. What a win. Man, he's got to feel great. 